what was real and what was delusion, or who. Everything around us could be a delusion. Even Akihabara? Even a mouthy baby named Yamato Hongo. I could be a delusion. With the Freedom Fighters? We just didn't know. Or, I guess we didn't notice. But with the ways delusions have been encroaching on reality, it only makes sense to have some doubts. I mean, we've been stuck in this delusory Sunday for so long, we've lost sight of what's important to us. And the delusions keep spreading because they're part of a bigger delusion. Wouldn't it make sense for the repeating Sunday to be part of a delusion too? Then there's the man in pink, who's probably some sort of living delusion. What if the DAB is a delusion too? We've already reached the point where we can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy, haven't we? <sighs> so what can we do in a world of lies? <sighs> Screw it. Asahi, no! Are you saying we just go back to our daily lives and pretend none of this ever happened? I won't capitulate to those bureau bastards even in death, I'll tell you that much. So... How screwed are we, oh fearless leader? I, uh, meant screw it. Let's just go home for the night. Huh? Don't scare me like that, jeez! It's late, guys, and we've had one heck of a day. I think all of us could do with a rest right now. And maybe a bath. But while you rest, I want each of you to think long and hard about what you should do from here on out. What do you mean? Whether to wake from this delusion and go back to our everyday lives, or keep fighting. where the bed is. You spend time with them. Lots of time. But the places you spend time with them at could just be delusions, too. Even friends and family aren't safe from the threat of being mere fiction. Hell, even the spot you're standing on right now could just be all in your head for all you know. Am I even real? Or did somebody dream me up? Once you lose the ability to distinguish what's reality and what's delusion, you've basically lost everything. That's the true horror of delusions, the thing every last one of us should be terrified of. <laughs> how what is? What the hell are you even talking about? This is how it is. Explain this to me. Where did those three go? They didn't go anywhere. They never even were. That's impossible, though. I've been spending every single day with them. We laughed together when we were happy, and comforted each other when times were rough. We fought together for everlasting peace in Akihabara. But now they're gone. Voss, Akari, and Aoi are all gone. Done. They were just delusions given shape. If it were possible to see them again, you know I'd be there right alongside you. I didn't hate them, you know that! So why? Tell me, if I wanted to see them again, where would I have to go? Tell me, please. I don't... What really are delusions? What are they? I just don't get it. What am I supposed to do? I wonder if anyone else has reached an answer.
First one here, I'm afraid. A first for you, I'm sure. I see. By the by, Asahi, you wouldn't happen to know where Ray Ray got off to, would you? Me? You don't then, as I figured. What happened? I believe it was around two in the morning. I took my eyes off him for just a moment and he disappeared. He left money for his tab, but then vanished on me. He's not answering his phone either. Was he okay to leave? I mean, if he was drunk, he could be in real trouble. That's one of my many concerns. His face yesterday looked the same as it did that fateful day. Which day? Three years ago. I swear he had this look in his eyes that made me think I would never see that man again. Three years ago was... The day before he fled the DAB. It was the look of a man terrified to his core. All because of the delusions he'd seen. Watching the Freedom Fighters vanish before his eyes must have triggered that same fear from deep within. Ray Ray has been afraid of the delusions for a long time. Much more afraid than any of you ever were. Tell me about him. I will. But only if you promise not to tell Ray Ray I smell the beans. Back then, Ray Ray was obsessed with his research. He felt he could harness delusions to make the world a happier place. Every time he spoke of it, his eyes would light up with hope and wonderment. And one day, he happened upon my establishment, and he'd brought a young lady along for the ride. Hey, don't you think you've had enough? Enough schmanuff. I've earned it. Got one step closer to my dream today, and alcohol just brings me closer still. Best case I've ever heard for alcoholism. Besides, you've got a lot of people's hopes on your shoulders. Ah, come on. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, there's plenty of people way more valuable than me in there. Like Yuki, you mean? Oh well, yeah. Kasuga's a pretty big deal. Lately, he's been acting kind of... strange. How so? He's just been really pissy. About everything. <laughs> like what? Like... a lot of things. Though I guess he does have a lot going on. You two both act like such children sometimes. I know you are, but what am I? Excellent rebuttal. But if you really are an adult, I want you to promise me one thing. Yeah? Promise me you'll act like one, one worthy of me. Hey, is something wrong? With Kasuga, you mean? No, silly, with you. You've been working yourself ragged lately. I have to. And why is that? What is so important that you need to work yourself to death over it? What are you trying to do? I'm taking on a new project, and then I'm sure I'll be able to... Something wrong? What do you think? You never come home at all anymore! 
I guess I don't. Is this new project of yours that important? Well, we just don't have a lot of time. We don't have enough time. Are you even listening? Uh-huh. Well, if you can answer me, then you're at least comprehending my words on some level. That's a start. So, 